Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can install Save Game Manager GX in order to back up both Wii Save Games and Miis. This will work on both a regular Wii as well as a virtual Wii. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, first of all because I've been getting a ton of questions about this in my comments, but also because I watched my old Save Me Mod video and I honestly cringed a little bit. That video is pretty poorly edited and somewhat inaccurate. I would like to point out though, like, you can't use a save editor, um, or try and inject a save, um, that you might find on, like, GameFAQs. I tried that, but it didn't work out for me, and I'm surprised that it's hit the amount of views that it has. So thank you all for that, I really do appreciate it. In order to get started, you're going to need a few prerequisites. First things first, you're going to need a modded Wii or a virtual Wii. I'll throw links down in the description on how to get started on that. If you don't have the correct iOS's installed, this is not going to work properly, even if you have the homebrew channel, so make sure that you check the installing iOS's part also in the appropriate guides. Also, another thing that I wanted to address is a save game must already exist in order for you to restore saves or import them. So, you can't just go off game facts or whatever, get a save for whatever game you want, and then just put it onto your Wii. You're going to have to at least initialize the game. So, after your console is modded, you're going to want to head on over to this Wii Brew page that's in the description below. After that, you're simply just going to want to tap the download button. After it's been saved, make sure to open it up. And what you're going to want to do is copy this folder right here, and go to the apps folder on your console's SD card. This is not to be confused with the Wii U folder, which contains Wii U homebrew apps. After that, make sure to paste the contents of the zip file. It's a relatively easy process to install. I legit almost forgot to mention this, but there are banners if you want to install the .wad file. I won't be going into that because it's relatively easy. Just use Wii Mod Lite in order to install the .wad file. But the one that I personally like is the official dark channel. Just keep in mind that you want to select the correct one for your console. This official dark channel one is not going to work for the virtual Wii. You want to select this one instead. If you select the wrong WAD, it's not going to boot into the channel. It's just going to reload the Wii menu. So keep that in mind. I'll see you guys over on my Wii U. As you guys can see, I do have this forwarder already on my virtual Wii menu, but I'll just launch it through the homebrew channel. All right, so right here you should see Save Game Manager GX. Make sure to click load. All right, so it's going to start off with some initializing, loading some custom iOS files that you probably should have installed by now. And you'll be thrown into this interface right here. I find the rumbling pretty obnoxious, so let me just turn that off really quickly. Like, you'll see your SD card over here. One thing you'll notice immediately is if you've used USB Loader GX, the interface is very similar. So in order to get started, you're going to want to click this select device right here and click on your Wii. Right here, all of your Wii game saves will pop up right here. So if you want to back something up, you just click on it, then you click Extract, Default, and it will extract to this directory right here, and you click OK, and it will extract right over there. Keep in mind the title ID over here. This differs between different regions. For example, you can't just go online and download a Japanese Wii Sports save. It will not work. When I backed up my Wii save, this folder right here appeared. As you can see, once you have a save game on your NAND, you'll be able to install whatever game it is. So this will work for virtual console games and any other Wii game that you're interested in playing. If you click these spinning arrows right here, you'll be able to manage all so through this, you can actually extract all of your Wii saves if you want to. That's a nice batch backup tool if you need it. Let's move on to Miis. So over here, you'll see all the Miis that are on your console. If you put your Miis into list view, you'll be able to check out details about them, as well as see the path that they are stored. They're all stored as one file on your virtual Wii NAND. To double test my theory whether or not you can edit Miis that are from another console, I pulled one off from a backup I had on a hard drive, so you can just install it, and after that you can click 
Mii's and it will appear right here. And apparently, when you have a Mii that's not editable by you, this splash icon will appear right here. If you click on it, then you'll be able to edit it. Let me check now if I can edit it. Alright, here it is. TV me. Very creative, I know. Oh cool, look I can edit it. <laughs> That's cool. Lastly, I'm going to show you guys how you can restore Mii Channel features on your virtual Wii. So if you've noticed, the Mii Channel on the Wii U is actually limited and there's some features that are removed. So, this program has the ability to restore them. Firstly, you're going to want to launch Virtual Wii Decaffeinator. I made a video on this before, so I will not be going over it again for now. Next, you're going to want to click Advanced Options. Scroll down to Me Channel, click Start. After you've gone through the entire process of reinstalling the Me Channel, it will pop up over here. After that, you're going to want to launch Save Game Manager GX, and you should have something around the lines of this appear. So you'll see this pop up. Me Channel is installed, but data are missing, so click the install button. 3DS, okay, so this is really cool. So 3DS Me Transfer function. This will allow you to transfer from your 3DS, or I think even DS. For like some games, like, wasn't there Tomodachi Collection? Maybe this will work for that as well, so click on for that. And now go back and double check. Let's check this out, shall we? Oh, here it is, connected to DS, that's cool. That's a kind of a neat thing that I kind of discovered in using this tool. By the way, after you do this, that error will not appear anymore. So you can click connect to DS. You know what, let's see if this actually works, one second. On your 3DS, you're not gonna want to select me maker, you're going to want to select me channel. So let's see if this works. I don't understand why they got rid of this in the virtual Wii. Alright, so I went on to the Mii Maker on my 3DS and I clicked B. E. Cool, okay. Cool. Point the Mii and press A and B to grab it and send it over. Does it- oh, it only goes one way over, I see. Alright, let me send over TV me. why not? Cool, it popped up on my, uh, it popped up on my... Maybe I somewhat understand why they got rid of this then. But yeah, that's really cool that that works. Now I got the TV me on my 3DS. That's cool. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. The guides that I saw were very dated. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure that you follow me over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash I stream Kingdom Hearts level 100% playthroughs. And I also stream Nintendo games and occasionally some other things here and there as well. But guys, please, if you want to support me, Twitch is the best way to do it. So please make sure to do that. If you found this video useful, make sure to drop a like and also make sure to leave a comment. I read and respond to every single comment that is posted and left on my channel. And if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. It really benefits me a lot. Also, I do have a Discord server at discord.io slash Zemnis. So if you want a place to hang out, make sure to hop on over there. I do answer modding questions. You can always just DM me on Discord if you have any questions. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and your continued support. And I'll see you guys all later.